So today we're going to be building this brand new set from Jurassic World. Dilophosaurus on the loose. <laughs> this is a continuation of the Jurassic World movies. It still has Owen Grady in it, played by Chris Pratt in the movie, who is the hero of Jurassic World. He's saving everybody because... Um, corporate people are making dumb decisions like should we just have regular dinosaurs no I want giant ones with more claws more teeth more dangerous you gotta have muscles on your <laughs> muscles <laughs> give them cloaking abilities I want them to be invisible <laughs> and eat lots of things pretty much everything it sees it should eat <laughs> everything it sees it should just eat the door to the cage <laughs> <laughs> well, remember in the movie, in the movie, like, I think first the, the corporate guy, like the, the, the main CEO of the park or whatever, he mm -hmm. shows up and he's like, show me the dinosaur. And like, they can't find it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, so now it's even more powerful than ever before. <laughs> and she's like, yes, we like gave it. 20 different types of DNA <laughs> and then they like they bring Owen Grady in because they want someone there to protect them in case it goes south and like something happens which always does because upper management just can't like make wise decisions <laughs> Two minutes in. <laughs> the set also comes with this generic park worker. She works at the gift shop. The stand, this little souvenir stand. And it also comes with Hudson Harper, who I think is just a little kid that loves dinosaurs. And he happens to be there at the park because I don't think he was actually in the movie. And it comes with the Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus, that's actually a very dangerous dinosaur. If you remember Jurassic Park, the first original movie directed by Steven Spielberg with Jeff Goldblum. Like, uh, Is that the one where like the, the computer guy steals all the yeah. samples and then that he like his, he crashes his car or something? Yeah. And then there's the Dilophosaurus. He tries to steal the, the dino DNA in the shaving cream. Mm -hmm. And then he's driving along in the storm and he's like, his windshield wipers don't work or something. And then he crashes into the tree or the sign because he wasn't paying attention. And then like the sign is all broken because it says dock this way, this, that way. And he doesn't know which way to go. And then he ends up driving on the mud. like, <laughs> and <he's> like <laughs> The dinosaurs are roaming free at that point. And a Dilophosaurus comes and like throws up in his face. Remember that? <laughs> he's like, oh, you're cute. And then it goes. <laughs> he's like, oh, I can't see. And it's like. Arr! So, I mean, very dangerous dinosaur. And yet this is the one that's roaming free in this set. Like, hey, hey, Hudson, how's it going? You're going to be my afternoon snack. <laughs> like, like four inches from his head. <laughs> <laughs> Very dangerous dinosaur to be roaming around. Here in the back you can see Owen has obviously saved the day. He has captured the dinosaur. And the only thing this kid is worried about is that he dropped his popcorn. <laughs> Never mind the fact that his life was in danger. <laughs> <laughs> My popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> These park workers probably all telling him right now like, Oh, and Grady just saved your life. And he's like, what about my popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a cool little set. So let's get this built and take a closer look at it. We'll
<laughs> That's not the right movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bryson says that you still owe him nacho fries. I don't even know what I owe him nacho fries for. I think he just made that up one day. I owe him nacho fries. For what? I'll give him nacho fries if he eats them on my show and gives <laughs> us a full detailed taste test review. It's cool how you have these sections, mm -hmm. that piece, those two pieces, makes it this piece can connect on the side. Like that. Ah. I like that. Cool. Huh. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I like that they do little creative things like that. And this is how it works. <laughs> Let's do a test run. Somehow, like, magnetize onto the dinosaur. <laughs> the kid <laughs> completely crashed the whole space at the end. <laughs> the it's kid like, threw the it? net on the dinosaur. He thought fast. He's like, the net's on me. Uh-oh, hurry. He grabs the net, and then he's like... <laughs> like a piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto. And that's it. Done. And these are all the extra bricks. And these are all the extra bricks that you can build extra souvenirs out of, <laughs> like a magnifying glass. <laughs> Or a, this is like a beacon. <laughs> a beacon? This is like a beacon. Laser pointer. <laughs> Bing, or it's like a lamp or something. <laughs> We're also selling lamps, magnifying glass. So, hey, hi. What do you have to buy? Oh, would you like to buy this signal flare just in case the Dilophosaurus breaks loose? It happens on a regular basis. What? Really? Yeah, management doesn't think they're dangerous, but we know better. <laughs> but I keep telling them, hey, maybe we should put in like a stronger enclosure. But they don't listen. For some reason, they think straw fences will hold a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Oh, look, there it comes again. Time to close up shop. Wait a second. Let me buy this magnifying glass. Show me your teeth. Yep, they are sharp. Okay, bye. No worries, kid. <laughs> uh oh, where's the net? Share the shop away. <laughs> no, the blades like we're like creating such 
wind that it blew the shop away. Oh. All right, hold on a second. Let me put this in there. <laughs> okay, I'm coming to rescue you, kid. Jump on here. Activate. <laughs> 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 so I just saved you, kid. I launched that thing into outer space. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, now we use this. It doesn't have a clamp on it. This thing needs some kind of clamping device so it can, like, into the enclosure. Okay. <laughs> It dropped the net, <laughs> so it's still stuck in the net. <laughs> okay, now that the creature is back in the enclosure, you can go and enjoy the gift shop. Do, 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 do. What do we have for sale here? Well, like I was saying, signal flares, the lamps. Uh, several magazines, like how to create deadlier dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> because that's available to the public. <laughs> behind the scenes of how the island actually looks like pizza. <laughs> and <laughs> what to make dinosaurs that will break out of enclosures. Oh, great. What a great selection. <laughs> what to make dinosaurs that will break out of enclosures. <laughs> what kind of DNA does your dino have to have in order to make it break through solid walls? Oh, good. <laughs> Two, like, really, really, like, critical information ones. And then how the island looks like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want this exciting issue? The island looks like pizza? Isn't that Chris Pratt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He saved his life. Now he's trying to like sell him this magazine. <laughs> Look, this is the first issue. Isla Nublar is actually pizza. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Because dinosaurs love pizza. <laughs> yes. As you can see in the baby raptor dino enclosure, baby raptors love pizza. Because Isla Nublar actually looks like pizza. Actually, Isla Nublar is pizza. <laughs> 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 How? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Isla Nublar is pizza? <laughs> yes, and soil and green is people. <laughs> completely different universe. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this kid just like casually throwing that in there? Because he's smart. <laughs> and. <laughs> like, what? So, this is the set. This is the stuff it comes with. This is the little gift shop, which is very cool. I like it. It's shaped like a dinosaur mouth. That's very creative. I like that. Did you get a good look at that? This is a very cool build. I like this set just for this. Never mind this massive quad jet space that we just built. No one I mean, cares about I don't that. know. This is this is cool, but not nearly as cool as this little gift shop. And I love the figures it came with. Actually, did you look at this guy's little jacket? It's a very cool jacket. It's got the little dino Jurassic World logo in there on his t-shirt. And then even on the back, it says Jurassic World. It's 
very cool. I like this little attention detail they've got here. Like, look at that. The back of her jacket has the logo on it. Very cool. The attention to detail is awesome. Those little things like that, I think, just make the set. Because, I mean, this really does feel like Jurassic World. Little gift shop. Makes me want, like... Like, I hope they make other sets that like, can all go together with this. Like, you know, a little restaurant or like a, a dinosaur Building carousel or something. Time. Yeah, like a cool little park. Not just those sets. Because a lot of the sets have been like dinosaurs breaking out of stuff. Dinosaur breaks out of the enclosure, like in the movie. Mm -hmm. Dinosaur escapes in the, the truck thing. And then the dinosaurs being chased in the motorcycle. We should build a set of that giant glass dome. Oh, with all the pterodactyls in yeah, it? Yeah, the helicopter <laughs> falls into. Yeah. <laughs> $10,000. But I like I like these. I like these little sets. It would be cool if they had another, I mean, like a couple other ones that went with it. Mm -hmm. To make like a little, like a little mini mall type. Not wet mall. Yeah. So, yeah. But very cool, very cool set. I give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely worth getting. This thing is cool. But in my opinion, this steals the show. And it comes with three cool minifigures. And lots of stickers. And, yeah, and a few stickers. Seven stickers, I think. <laughs> This is a good set. I really like it. If you love Jurassic World and what they've done so far with the Jurassic World sets, you'll probably love this one. Especially just for that. It's very cool. So if you liked it, like it. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, kid. You want to go to a tour of Pizza Island? <laughs> Here, jump on. <laughs> I thought he was giving me a tour. I'm just flying around. <laughs> okay. That's that's that. See you next time.